APA Style Citations and References APA Style is the required format for citations and references in this course and in all courses in the School of Education. We will cover issues related to plagiarism in more depth in a future session, but here are some general guidelines for citations. Cite the work of authors whose ideas have influenced your work. Cite sources of facts and figures that are not common knowledge. Citing a source implies that you have read the article, book, etc. Don't cite work that you have not read. Cite one to two of the most representative sources for each point you make that is influenced by other work. Avoid secondary sources if possible. At the very least, use these sparingly. Quoting and paraphrasing are often the source of much confusion among beginning researchers. Here are some rules of thumb. Any material that is quoted directly should be reproduced word for word. Place quoted material of fewer than 40 words within quotation marks. Place quoted material of 40 or more words as a freestanding block of text indented approximately one half inch from the left margin. Do not place the indented text within quotation marks. Follow a quotation with the author's last name, year, and page number in parentheses. Attend to punctuation. Example, one researcher notes, few things are as important as a good education. Genius, 2008, page 100. Paraphrasing involves using one's own words to express an idea that another author has proposed. Paraphrasing is more than just changing one or two words of a quotation. Paraphrasing is preferred to quoting, unless a direct quotation is necessary to convey the original author's point accurately. When paraphrasing, be sure to include a citation of the original source material. Note that APA does not require a page or paragraph number for paraphrased material unless the information is so important or complex that the reader will probably want to refer to the original work. For the purposes of this course, you are strongly encouraged to try to summarize information in your own words while at the same time giving credit to the original authors of the work. When citing references in the text, note that each reference in the text must appear in the reference list. The last names of the authors and the date of publication are included in citations in the text. When there is one author, follow the author's last name with the year. Here are two examples. A study conducted by Genius, 2008, found that teacher satisfaction was positively related to salary. Or, one study found that teacher satisfaction was positively related to salary. Genius, 2008. Note that these two formats are equally acceptable. Both include the author name and year. Multiple authors. Three to five authors are initially listed in full. In later citations, use the first author with et al. Be sure to put a period after the all in et al, as all is an abbreviation. When there are six or more authors, only the first author, followed by et al, is listed. Examples. In their landmark study, Winken, Blinken, and Nod, 2005, discovered that listening to loud noises during testing impairs students' performance. Note that the word and, not the ampersand, is used when the author's names are used as part of the sentence. The opposite is true when the names are part of a parenthetical citation. Winken et al. 2005 also found that quiet classical music may be helpful during testing. Note, this is the second occurrence of the same source. Principal et al. 2002 suggests that school administrators have great responsibilities. Note, this is a study with six or more authors. Two or more works within the same parentheses should be ordered alphabetically. Example, Several studies, Brilliant, 2009, Mediocre et al., 1995, show. Note that these references are separated by a semicolon. If two or more works by the same author are within the parentheses, order them by year. Examples, past research by Genius, 1993, 2008, demonstrated. Some of the most compelling work in this area has shown that teachers are happier when they are paid more. Genius, 1993, 2008. Note that these references are separated by a comma. 
Additional information on special types of citations can be found in the APA Publication Manual, 2010, on pages 174 to 179. Please read this section carefully and follow the examples when citing sources. Finally, you will construct a reference list. The reference list will be easy to construct if you have created an APA reference for each of the sources you abstract. Here are some tips. Order the reference list alphabetically by the first author's last name. Avoid common errors by paying attention to what elements should and should not be included, which words are capitalized and or italicized, where punctuation goes, etc. Double check the spelling of authors' names. And note that the manual recommends the inclusion of digital object identifiers, DOIs. However, this is not required in this course. Examples for periodicals like journals, magazines, newspapers, etc. Genius IM 2008, Salaries and Satisfaction, Journal of Common Knowledge 6, 100 to 115. Winken A, Blinken VC, and Nod D, 2005, The Impact of Music on Test Performance, Annals of Music and Education, 12, 300 to 306. Books and Book Chapters, Brilliant, R.U., 2008, Education, It's Worth It, New York Academic Press, Mediocre, YMI, 1995, Education, What's the Big Deal, in A. Winken, B. C. Blinken, and D. Nod, Editors, Controversies in Education, pages 240 to 250, New York Academic Press. The American Psychological Association has published an excellent tutorial on APA style, and I strongly recommend that you view the tutorial, which is included as a link to this course. Although you may wish to rely on software such as RefWorks or EndNote, which create APA style reference lists, I urge you to double check these computer generated lists as they are not always completely accurate. There is no substitute for going over your research with a fine tooth comb.